Hello everyone, often when starting Java you come across terms iterable and iterator, so let me show you what the difference is. In here we have a my collection class which implements the iterable interface and this is basically a class that has an array of 10 strings. So let's say that we want to iterate over them and I decided to use the iterable interface. Basically if you take a look at the iterable interface it forces you to implement this iterator method. And iterable, by forcing you to provide an implementation of iterator, is basically for forcing you to use the iterator interface as well. And it also gives you an, uh, access to the for each, but this is by default implemented. So this is also defaultly implemented, it will not go into this right now. But the thing that it forces you to do is to use the iterator interface. So if I go back and skip this main and go here, I need to provide an implementation for this iterator method. If I remove it, you can see that the ID is complaining because I'm implementing the iterable interface, but I'm not implementing all of its methods. So let me return. In here, I implement this iterator, my iterator class, and you can see that my iterator implements the iterator interface. So I know it can be confusing, but iterable, iterable is forcing you to use the iterator. So I need to have this, and by having this, I need to provide the implementation for my iterator. And now if we take a look at my iterator, we need to implement the has next and next. Why? Because iterator interface forces you to implement has next and next. In our case E, the type E is string. There's also a remove, but it's a default, uh, defaultly implemented. We'll not go into it right now. So let's worry about next and has next. And if you go here, you can see that I've implemented them. Basically, what iterable does, it's a good practice to use. It forces you to use the iterator and it also gives you a for each implementation. So if I go to my class, I created the collection here. In here, I created my iterator by calling this iterator method. So this, and he gives me this, my iterator. And now I can use has next and next to iterate over this collection. And Iterable interface and iterable interface also gives me an access to this for each. So when I run, you can see we have a completely exact same output. Also, what I wanted to show is that Java internally also uses the iterable. If you go to this array list, so if I hold control and go to here, we can see that array list implements list. If I go to list, we can see that the list extends collection. If I go to collection, we can see that all collections in Java extend the iterable interface. And by that logic, they all need to have an implementation of the iterator method. So if I go back to the list, we can search for iterator we can see this over here and by the power of IntelliJ we can see all implementing classes and in here we can find array list. If I click that it will take me to an array list implementation of the iterator method of the iterable interface and we can see that it returns a new iterator. If we go here we can see it's also a private class which implements iterator and by that logic, it must have this next method and it must have this has next, which is also what we have here. Has next, next. And they also implement this remove method, which is not in the scope of this video. But I just wanted to show you the difference between iterable and iterator. Also, iterator can be a standalone class. Uh, it doesn't have to be used with the iterable. And I also prepared an example for that. So if I go to here, my custom iterator, 
we can see that the class can directly implement the iterator. We need to provide the implementation and we have a collection of strings here. If we go to main, we can see that we can directly use the iterator by creating it. If we run the program, we can also see element one, element two, element three, but because we don't have iterable, we cannot use the for each. So if I go to elements and I try to write for each, you can see that the ID doesn't autocomplete it for me because it doesn't exist. But when I go back, you can see here that my collection can use for each because in the iterable, we can see that it's defaultly implemented. So a good practice, as you saw in the array list, list and collection, all collections implement the iterable interface. It provides you a better way of writing code and it's a good practice to use iterator and iterable together. If you need any help, let me know in the comments and see you in the next video. Bye.